And behind Parlor, Borough, Coup d'Etat, some very popular bars and restaurants, he's redoing and revitalizing the bar inside the Ivy Hotel. His name is Jesse Held, and he hopes Constantine is the next step in an evolving Twin Cities cocktail scene. Do we have good cocktails here? No doubt about it. But it's more about the men and women who are behind the bar doing the thing every single day. Within this dimly lit, mysterious space, inside an iconic Minneapolis building, Constantine has followed its Italian fine dining sibling upstairs, rising from the dust left behind by the old porter and fry. This building was originally built in the 1930s um, by the Second Church of Christian Science, so it has a religious undertone to it. It does have some touches of like a stained glass window or a pulpit we have um, that our host sits in. Um, uh, we have a pew that is, you know, kind of built into the wall. Take in the decor, but keep your eyes on the staff. They're all trained bartenders, leading eventually to the opportunities for tableside drink creations and hearkening back to a time in the pre-prohibition um, era where um, it was all about the bartender, it was all about the craft, and, and it was the golden age of cocktails, and all that happened in luxury hotels. It is a literal pouring our love and passion into everything that we do, whether it's behind the scenes or, or behind the bar. Jordan Gomez is in charge behind the bar, a veteran of Bradstreet Craft House, and more recently, of Manhattan super bars like Pouring Ribbons and Death and & Company. Tell us the name of the drink we're making today. Sure. Uh, this, this cocktail is called Pero Porque Papi. Translation? But why, Papi? Okay. A uh, term of endearment. It's based on mezcal, a class of spirits distilled from agave, to which tequila belongs. The mezcal that I've had that's been actually listed on, on the menu that way it tends to have a little smoky flavor, and I've confused it with scotch. Is that typical? Definitely. It's definitely typical. It's because the process is a little different. You know, they, uh, they take the piñas, and then they, they throw them underground and roast them. Right. Well, with dirt on top, and so that kind of like allows it to get smoky, smoky. That, that peaty flavor that you're mentioning. Start with the mezcal, which Jordan has infused with brown butter. That process is as easy as it sounds, and the instructions are available online. Add a bit of whiskey and orange curacao. A simple syrup made from Minnesota sweet corn goes in next. So just boiled up corn and sugar? No boiled, no. We just, uh, just cut it up, threw it in the processor, took equal parts of that to, to sugar. And a bit of cream to thicken the drink plus a bit of fresh lemon juice to balance the sweetness. It goes into a glass room with dehydrated manchego cheese and cayenne pepper. Oh yeah, a lot of different layers there. You get the, the mezcal flavor kind of at the end. Yeah. Look complicated, but very unique. I can guarantee okay. you, you've never tasted a drink like that around here. That's the sort of drink, though, you go, you order that right. drink. That's not the kind you're making at home, but that's what I love about your segment. Some of them you can take home. Some of them it's like, yeah. that's exactly what I'm getting. Che cheese? Cheese. Yeah, I don't know where you get dehydrated manchego cheese, but uh, I'm sure they make it there. And you say wow. you can go and order it. You can't do it yet. Not yet. Okay, when, not, is it, when do they open? Not until Monday. Their sister restaurant upstairs uh, called Manello, that opened a few weeks ago. Um, and this downstairs opens on Monday. They're going to be serving some food downstairs, too. It's what Jesse calls upscale food truck food. So they've got things like mortadella hot dogs and um, oyster and uh, pulled pork tacos and tater tots. And at least for the preview that they had, they had plastic forks. So it's not, I mean, the, the drinks are definitely works of art that taste great, but it's not stuffy at all. If you want more about the place, you can go to WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix. I feel like you really enjoyed that one. I did. Je Jesse is a friend, full disclosure, but it's because we're friends he's because he's so friend. good at what he does. But, but because of Mike's Mix, too. That's yeah. how you initially met him in the yeah. first place. Yeah, he is really good.